as you can see, I am filming on my bed today. So I thought it would be fun to do like a giant try on haul, but for markers instead of clothes. And I will test out all of these markers for you guys. And um, in preparation for this video, I bought this massive piece of paper. It doesn't look that big on camera. Because I thought it'd be really cool to like incorporate all of these markers and pens into one big piece of artwork. I've got my big umbrella lights behind me. So that way the lighting in this video will be hopefully very exceptional. So I'm going to be filming some ground level shots with this camera and then I'm also going to try to affix my phone to my ceiling fan and get a top down shot of me um, as I draw this sitting on my bed. <laughs> So I did manage to get the phone to attach to my fan, but one thing I just realized is that there, I have no way of seeing the screen. So I have no way of knowing what the camera is actually capturing or like checking to make sure that it doesn't shut off in the middle of my time lapse, so. Arteza was kind enough to send me all of these art supplies to test out for you guys, and they were also very kind to sponsor this video. So I hope to give you guys a nice overview of all of the different types of products that Arteza offers. The different types of markers that we're going to be testing out today include their liquid chalk markers. They have both a set of bright colors and then a set of metallic colors. We will also be testing out the Inconic Fine Liner pens as well as their dual-ended sketch markers. So as you can start to see for the artwork I'm creating in this video, I of course wanted to do some sort of a quote. I knew it wanted to be something like quite short so I can make the letters nice and big. And what I wanted to do is sort of utilize negative space on the page for the words. And then I wanted to fill in the entire background with color. And the pattern that I chose to do behind the words is actually sort of a floral pattern. I found some inspiration photos on the internet. I first sketched out the flowers and then I started to fill them in and then I filled in the background behind it. So for the flowers, I went with red and orange and yellow sort of colors. I used all of the green and teal colors for the leaves. And then for the backdrop, I went with the blue and the purple shades. These markers are very bright and they really do stand out on this page. One of my favorite little tricks that I discovered while creating this piece was to use the alcohol-based art markers to blend out the chalk markers. The chalk markers have a very unique sort of texture and way that they lay on top of the paper. Instead of soaking in, they really kind of just sit on top. And so if I didn't let them dry for too long, I could actually go back in with those alcohol-based markers and sort of blend them out and make the edges a little bit softer and I really like the way that that helps me create a sort of a gradient on the flowers. Another thing that I like to use the chalk markers for was if I colored in an area and I wasn't super happy with how dark it was and I couldn't really go over it with another water-based pen because they wouldn't layer. I could go in with the chalk markers because they do kind of sit on top of those colors and I could re-brighten the area again so I kind of liked that way of being able to almost fix my mistakes because when you're drawing with markers there's not a whole lot you can do when you mess up so I really kind of enjoyed getting to experiment with that aspect of different mediums with one artwork. Like I mentioned before, my goal was to use every single one of the markers somewhere in the artwork. Some of them I used to fill in large areas and then others I just used for a few different little spots on the paper. Also guys, I got really frustrated with myself as I was going along with this background. I was so focused on coloring it and avoiding all of like the flowers and the leaves that multiple times I ended up accidentally coloring into my letters. And that was very, very frustrating for me because I had to go back in and wipe them out again. So once I made that mistake a couple of times, I was much, much more careful. This paper is so much bigger than it looks, I feel like, on camera. And honestly, this took me so, so long to complete. I mean, this is multiple sessions of sitting down and working on this piece. Seriously, guys, like, it was a labor of love. It took me so long to finish. The most challenging part for me was probably 
the blue and purple backdrop that I did behind the flowers just because the space was so, so massive. And another thing that I was challenged with was how I wanted to finish the edges because I figured the two ways I could kind of do it would be to go all the way to the edge of the paper. But because I was going with this sort of sketchy kind of look for the background, I thought it might be cool to actually leave the edges a little bit rough. So I actually asked you guys on Instagram what you thought would look good and you guys voted for the rough edges. So that's what we ended up going with. Side note, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I post so much more often on there than I do on YouTube. So if you wanna keep up with what I'm doing, if you wanna see art that I'm creating outside of this channel, you should definitely be following me on there. This piece is bright and vibrant and I just, I love how it looks. I actually had it hanging on my wall for a couple of days after I finished it because I was so proud that I'd finally completed it. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy it and you'd like to be notified when I create future content, you can click the subscribe button below. And I will also be providing links to all of the different art supplies I was using in today's video down in the description box. So go make sure to check that out if you're interested in purchasing any of the Arteza art supplies that I used today. Have an awesome day and I will see you guys very soon with another video. Bye.